F is for feedback. So our topic today is feedback, how to give it, how to receive it, and why it's so essential for professional growth. Feedback is a very powerful tool for our development. Constructive feedback helps to identify strengths and areas for improvement and helps to foster continuous learning and growth. When giving feedback, you want to be specific and you want to focus on behaviors rather than personal traits. Use the sandwich method where you start out with positive feedback, you provide constructive criticism, and then you end with positive reinforcement. When you receive feedback, that can be a bit challenging, but it's crucial to approach it with an open mind. Listen actively, ask for clarification if needed, and view it as an opportunity for growth rather than criticism. You want to encourage a culture of feedback in the workplace because it can lead to better communication, higher morale, and improved performance. Feedback should be a regular part of meetings and check-ins. You want to also act on feedback as you receive it. Develop an action plan to address areas of improvement and follow up to show your progress. For example, if you receive feedback about improving your presentation skills, you might take a public speaking course or practice more frequently.